So Barrett and Red come to another large cavern where they see Cloud, Aerith, and Tifa up there on like some ledge. Hey guys, over here! <laughs> and then Barrett has to solve a few, I would say easy mine car switch puzzles to be able to provide a way for- Yeah, they're super easy, they're just annoying. Yeah. That, yeah, right, to them to cross the ledge, right? So these puzzles to me are fine. I don't think they're hard enough to be annoying. And to me, they added some diverse play, which I like. But I also had the thought that Ernest is not going to like these. No, no, so, be because it's literally stolen from Tomb Raider. And mind you, I love Tomb Raider. I, you know, I love that series, but it's like, this is exactly what happens in but Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider have to have sole ownership over game mechanics? No, you can't but, games borrow from each other just like movies do? Well, I mean, it's the same studio now, right? So, Or the same right. parent the same, organization or whatever. Right. So clearly somebody who worked on Tomb Raider came over here. That's obvious, right? But, it, but it's still like, even to the point of the paint, whether it's white or yellow on the places right. where you should climb or jump, that is exactly Tomb Raider. So it's- Well, it's not just too, like Horizon Zero Dawn is that way. Like there's a ton yeah, but of- Think about who came first. I don't actually know. I'm curious. Everyone's borrowing from Tomb. Obviously, Horizon borrowed from Tomb Raider. Like, this is probably the same people that did it, right? Because you're within Square Enix now. But yeah, that was the same thing. I was like, man, I'm tired of pushing these stupid minecarts around. And what was even, I say annoying, but if you objectively look at it, it probably wasn't, was that you had the action buttons on both sides of the minecart. So you could have chosen oh, to- Oh, yes, yeah, so you didn't know if you were supposed to pull or push. You could have either pushed or pulled. Yeah. Right. And I didn't realize that until later because oh. obviously I was doing like mostly pushing. And then I realized you could also pull it from the other side. That opened up options you didn't see before. And you're probably irritated that you didn't see them. And well, yeah, because the vacuum cleaners, I feel like they were only push. You could pull yeah. if you. You could pull them, but it was one side. If you went backwards. But yeah, it was on one side. Yeah. And these ones had them on both sides. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you weren't a fan of that section. No, never. Anything that slows me down, I'm not a fan. But what about like, okay, so. The reason it doesn't bother me is because when I go into these games, like I'm a completionist, but I love to explore just for the sake of exploring and enjoying like the game. So when I do those, as long as it's not super frustrating and there's not a ton of those kinds of puzzles, I don't mind the diverse play and the slowing down a little bit because my goal isn't to complete the chapter as fast as possible. Oh, I don't mind the puzzles. Like I said, Breath of the Wild. But you hated Breath of the Wild. I never got past it because of the stupid like armor degrading and stuff, but like the puzzles were fine. I liked the puzzles. But again, this is like, so like Tomb Raider's, one of the like cliches in Tomb Raider is where there's yeah. like something that's like hanging on either a rope or a chain and it's kind of stuck. And it's almost always like either a shipping container or just a big box. Uh -huh. And then there's almost always a mine cart. Those mine carts, perhaps they could block the water. And what you have to do is you have to like get the mine cart to roll freely to hit that thing, to let it come off of whatever it's stuck. And then it right. does one of two things. It either turns into like an elevator counterbalance type of thing. Yeah. Or it flies off and like hits something else that then progresses the puzzle. Right, it's, this is like, it's textbook yeah. Tomb Raider. It's common, but it's been happening for decades in video games. Like I think Mario even has like mine carts, right? It probably does, but I'm just saying like, it was like cliche, right? But like you said, puzzles I have no problem with. Like if it's like Breath of the Wild type puzzles, not the stupid armor degrading and you having yeah. to eat jalapenos because you're gonna go into a cold <laughs> place and somehow the jalapenos keep you warm in the cold. Like, come on, that's <laughs> ridiculous, right? That's Science, Ernest. Yeah, exactly. It's, science. it's embarrassing science. But like the, <laughs> like exploring and figuring out like, oh, if I pull this lever over here and I pull this lever over here, it opens this door. You remember that in Remake where like, depending on how you do things, the water in the sewers like comes up in certain areas and then goes down? Yes. And then you got to figure out like how to traverse that like muck and whatever? Yes. That's fine. I wasn't pushing around a vacuum cleaner or a mine cart in there. But like what, what's the part, what did you hate about it? Actually, you know what? You talked about like walking around and kicking these boulders, right? Yeah. And they just like fly around like they're made of, I don't know, foam. Yeah. But the mine cart actually acts like it weighs a ton. Yeah. And you're pushing it. So like, what's the discrepancy here with like, Barrett should be able to just kick that mine cart and it goes flying. <laughs> like the physics doesn't match. It doesn't match at all because <laughs> th this was part of the puzzle. <laughs> And the boulders weren't. But I think that's part of being in on the joke, right? Like, I, I think mean, that's yeah, part of like the developers. They're OK with that because it's funny. The joke would be funnier if I kicked the mine cart and it went flying. Like for <laughs> that real. Would be for hilarious. me. For me. And I, re I realize some people <laughs> like. It. But like the one where you had to push the mine cart underneath that thing so you could jump on top. 
Yeah. It's obvious what you need to do. It just takes you a while to get the thing lined up so you can do it. True. I think that's the crux of it. Okay. And so to you, it feels like pointless, wasted time because you know what needs to be done. Now you just have to do it and it's annoying. Right. And they're just slowing you down. Right. Got it. Again, I'm only on chapter five, but like you're telling me, you're a hundred and something hours in. Yeah. There's clearly no need to slow us down. Right. If you got a hundred plus hours in a game, what's the point of slowing us down with a vacuum cleaner in the minecart? Like it just doesn't. I think the diverse play and like the puzzles, I don't know. I think there's an argument to be made that sticking them in there isn't terrible. But you already knew when you had to push those stupid things, you're like, oh, he's going to hate this. Yeah. <laughs> and that is that is true because it was like, you are slowing me down for no reason. Right. Well, I think like also there are going to be some 13 year olds who play this game who it might be more challenging for them, right? So it might be simple for us and just feel like a little bit of a chore, but for them, it's like solving a puzzle maybe. Yeah, I was gonna you say know? anyone who's played as many RPGs as we have. You know exactly what to do. We just look and we know what needs to be done. Right, exactly, like it's second nature. But yeah, you're right. If you're new to the genre or- Or you're younger. Even younger, like maybe an eight or a 10 year old who's playing, right. they would struggle because they don't understand like what the puzzle is supposed to do. But right. but I feel like that's one of the, you know, I will give Zelda's developers a little bit of credit in saying that like they do come up with some novel and interesting puzzles. So like, I do yeah. like that part. But then they ruin the whole game with their like nonsense with armor and eating. <laughs>